Hello and welcome back to another series or episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing Diaries of Death, uh, the story of Ron the Snake. Uh, today is our next episode of Ron trying to enter the Dark Brotherhood and essentially go for the Dark Brotherhood questline. I have already accepted the initial uh, orphan quest in Windhelm and we're back in Riften in the orphanage to do what needs to be done. Let's kill Grelot the Kind and Kind is really kind of in air quotes here. Constance. Yes, Grelot. We haven't had an adoption in months. At this rate we'll be stuck with these brats forever. We need to get the word out. A, a sale if need be. Please just let me handle it. It's not a problem. Please, mister. You gotta get me out of here. Ever since Juventus left, Grillet's been even meaner than usual. I swear, he's gonna kill one of us. Alright, kids, get out of the way. This is, might get a little bit ugly. Thank you, Grella. Hooray! Grella the kind is dead at last. Victory is yours. Nice say? that everybody seems to be so really joyful about uh, her demise. <laughs> hurrah, hurrah. <laughs> Hooray! All right, so that sets us up for the first stage of the quest. I am thinking about getting either a horse over here or doing the Riften Watchtower and I guess we're going to go with the Watchtower because we haven't seen it the last time. I want to make sure that every playthrough is a, as different as possible and we're not just going through the sweet spots over and over again. There are clearly a couple of uh, things like getting um, a horse for cheaper that would make sense but we want to have that diversity so let's uh, let me go to the tower we will beat up a couple of bandits and we will try to rest or sleep and that should then officially start the dark brotherhood quest we are currently on our way to the quest destination and I figured something interesting is going to happen as this random patrol of or well, merchants of the Kajit is running into a hideout of bandits which in return might lead to a nice little fight I didn't want to do that fight without involving you. Careful, yeah, we are not at full health. No, 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 that could be deadly. Hey, outside seems clear. Well, there's even a storm uh, guard uh, soldier, a storm cloak soldier. Seems everybody has gotten the memo that Fort Greenwell is going to be our party location. Oh, 
Should have blocked that one. Stupid me. Okay. Decent fight. Uh, the bandits do not uh, put up as much of a fight as they previously did. Which is normal. Um, use one of our custom potions. Plus, we need to repoison our weapon. This here very much looks like spiders. Out of curiosity, do we have a firebolt? No. We got one ice bolt, but that's not what I was looking for. Poison resist. Let's take the small frostbite spiders out first. Good. Off to the larger one. These guys are nasty, their poison hits very, very hard, but they also like hit their physical attack hits quite a bit. Good, we poisoned uh, that guy. Okay, clean fight, I like it. Lightning bolts, I will take the fire bolt as well. Let me guess, we can't open that one. I'm not strong enough. But we can go into the green wall captain's quarters. Let's see what the captain can do. I suppose you are the captain. <laughs> Two people who are missing one another. Come on. Are you prepared to oh, she hits really hard. What do we care for here? The power attacks are potentially level. This orcish armor. Good as for our rewards. Staff of Fury, that's cute. We can uh, use we can use that. Can't really get up there. Does, did she have a key? No, she did not. Okay, 
I guess that's it for uh, this particular dungeon. I'll be back uh, when we arrive at our target destination. Okay, we finally arrived at the location Rift Watchtower. Um, that is one of the locations which we conveniently did in our first run. I think we would want that. And let's get some heavier bolts. Uh, I actually think Orcish bolts are due. Alright, got a hit on uh, the first enemy. We softened him up very nicely. Yeah, none of that is usable. Okay, so where are the other two? Our weapon is still poisoned, I like it. Are you for real? You're just standing there? Not again. Why is everybody just standing on that staircase? Alright, come on. The poison is ticking. <laughs> okay, this build is going to be fun. Not very good against all types of enemies, but those with a low poison resist. Holy moly. Alright, bring it on, buddy. I want to fight you up here. Yeah, come on. Oh, go back up. Dude. Not trying to abuse the AI here, but why aren't you just following me? I don't want to run into you. Okay. Can't help him if he can't help himself. Cool. We got the moon amulet. Uh, we could take an orcish bow. That would be a slight upgrade, but it's also quite heavy. 12. Well, that one is heavy as well, but we have no bow feet, so I rather prefer to stick with a crossbow. Which automatically comes loaded. You can fire and forget much better than uh, with a bow. Cool. So that's gone. We basically would need to trade it back in. Return Mune Amulet to Kaicho. Where is that guy? Alright, I'll do that real quick. Uh, the Wandering Kevin is here in Windhelm. I'll then sleep there and we continue with the Dark Brotherhood. It is time sleep for well. the dis uh, Dark matter. Brotherhood. You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Hmm? 
problem. You see, that little Eratino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from, well, that's not really important. The here and now, that's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on, see if you can figure it out. Make your choice, make your kill. I just want to observe. We did lies. No matter what we do. See. Well, get to it then. Pick your guest and send the poor fool to the void. We will not the send the right one to the void. Be on your way. Shouldn't waste bolts on that one. Oh, ho, ho. the whimpering Nord, eh? Yes. Yes, I can see how you'd come to that conclusion. Interesting choice. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you understand? Guilt, innocence, right, wrong? Irrelevant. What matters is I ordered you to kill someone, and you obeyed. Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family. The Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. Well, fantastic. Off we go. So, I joined the Dark Brotherhood and got their clothes and already did all of the talking. Let's just go through the loot that we got. Wonderful upgrade for our hands. Weapon uh, penetration or armor penetration of 14% is fantastic. Got the Shard Coil with another ranged weapon increase of 21%. That will help us quite a bit. We got the shard boots for stamina, 30 points, and another poison resistance, increased stamina by 30 points, health by 20 points, and sneaking further improved. So <clears throat> the set is straight up an improvement. On top of that, we got our first couple of kills. Contract, contract, and contract. And I handed in <clears throat> the ring. Up on top of it plus killed a couple of bandits so that's really what happened in the meantime and I got myself a few new poisons um, and grinded them so let's go and do a couple of killings shall we the dark brotherhood wants us to show our skills So we got one up here in Dawnstar, one here, and in, I think it was called Ingerstedt, Ingerstedt, something along those lines, and a traveling, well he said, uh, that guy is at a um, at a intersection of crossing. So let's maybe start with him. He's most straightforward. 
Good, we got our first target uh, right here, Enosius uh, Papius, uh, who is camping right next to Angus Mill. I forgot one important aspect that I should have told you guys. We also learned the first word, Mark for Death. Uh, I haven't mentioned it at the beginning of uh, the playthrough, but uh, the Mark for Death words are an integral part of the uh, questline for the Dark Brotherhood, so I figured... We'll not treat it as something that would come from a dragon soul, but uh, as always, we have a mundane character and it's just kind of a, a dragon word that is uh, passed for generations within the Dark Brotherhood. So that's why we can learn it now. There will be more over the course of uh, the quest line. Get away from me. Brotherhood, ain't you? I knew it. I knew you'd come for me. Spare me, please. Please, don't kill me. Can we do it in a bit more secluded, hidden way? I would prefer not to get a bounty. There we go. Even got our belt back. Fantastic. <clears throat> so, one down. Two more to go. He was hiding very, very far back. So I think next up we go to Dawnstar. We have found our second victim, <clears throat> and of course, during an assassination of courier, uh, courier finds us. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Thank you. Good. Let's see where exactly she ends up. I think in her house. Which really might be the easiest way for us to actually get her. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Poor little thing. Good, we got our bolt back and we even got a couple of loot items. Well, I hate being an evil character, but the Dark Brotherhood is pretty much what uh, Ron the Snake would do. Fantastic, two down, one more to go. And look at that. During the night, everybody is asleep. Ivor said, here we come. <laughs> oh, wow. Hard not to laugh about that. Fantastic. We're going to be a bit morbid. Uh, and... We'll rest here for one hour. Right next to the corpse. No one uh, noticed a thing. Give me that Nern route. And I think we're on our way back. First three contracts successfully done. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And should the... Keep talking, little man, and we'll see. Very good, so we're back. Haven't you talked to Astrid? She's by the pool greeting the night mother and her little jester. She has a contract. This is Cicero. I, for one, am delighted you and the night mother have arrived. 
Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? <sighs> oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth, wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Mm -hmm. Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. It's not really our first contract, but okay. Let's hint in our other contracts. Still here. Congratulations. Here's your payment. Good, so we got ourselves 50, Good. 50 and gold. I hope you work your payment for a job well done. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. Good. We don't need any additional contracts. We do indeed have our first Dark Brotherhood contract, which is Morning Never Comes. Talk to Muri. And that's exactly what we're supposed to do next. But before we do that, let's just say we might want to increase our skills because we've done quite a bit in the meantime. <clears throat> time to upgrade so one hand uh, block marksmanship definitely could uh, require an upgrade you know what let's do that at least to 25 because I'm considering taking a few points just to make that more effective we're often opening up with marksmanship there is no point in not at least having a perk in there Dexterity 25 is fine, Evasion 25 is fine, Alchemy 25 is fine, um, Sneak, we would definitely need a bit more. Just getting those core skills up. Good, I'll keep, I'll retain the greater points for later. And we're leveling up. So, still thinking about health for now. In terms of upgrading, I mean, look, uh, we can go for one hand swords now. That would be helpful. Marksman, here we would uh, definitely increase the damage and reduce the drain. That would be possible as well. Uh, 
that's a nice feature. The slowdown of time, the marksman focus is the big one. But we didn't want to go, or I don't want to go for a full marksman build, but a few perks might actually go a long way. In terms of evasion here, uh, we could increase power attack damage. In terms of sneak, we could actually start uh, sneaking which might come in handy if we don't always want to fight. I'm almost inclined to go with one hand for now. Uh, block definitely not yet. If at all. We had alchemy. Alchemy could warrant better poisons. The next breakpoint is 50, where we get 50% better poisons. And another 15%. So, hmm, given that we play a poison build, maybe that's the ne next real big increase that we're taking alchemy to 50 and take these two perks. In the meantime, one handed damage. Sword focus would give us f faster attack speed. I think we're going to take that. Yeah, I think we're going to take that. That's helpful. Okay, that's uh, that's good. We can still we could still increase the stamina a little bit more. So I'll ensure that we're going to do exactly that, just for prolonged fights. But for now, all of the support skills make a lot of sense. I want to get alchemy up next so we're looking at 25 more alchemy and we're collecting the greater points for even higher skills i don't think that this build here will uh, require so much one hand i mean the individual damage yes more attack speed here is fine at 50 at 50 we would get even more attack speed from flurry so that would be good as well. However, that wouldn't be bad. Power attack was well, wielding 50% less stamina and 25% more damage. Storm of Steel actually might be something that we would want to go for. Uh, the other big uh, item would be Dexterity. And we haven't even started here. So Nimble Finger into Precise Strikes. Into... Um... Akimbo attacks 35 here. Would make sense. And wait, 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 wait. Where, where was um, the other? No, that is uh, uh, drawing the bow. This is uh, the middle path is uh, stealing. This one here is brawling and uh, barehanded. We don't want that. So it's actually precise strikes. High armor penetration. Or dual wielding, which is great. And then akimbo attacks. So that would be three perks, 35 points. That might be something which is helpful as well. So could bet the bullet to get that sort of unnecessary first uh, pickpocketing perk and then get the other ones evasion later. So primary topic or primary one would be alchemy. Then I think dexterity for faster weapons and then getting one hand weapon all the way up. So it's almost alchemy and one hand weapon to 50, then the dual wielding. And then we can uh, try to get higher in one handed attack. Alchemy itself after 50. Next one is immunization, which is great, but we already have such a high poison uh, resistance. This here would be okay. 
crafted uh, potions and poisons are 10% better or crafted potions uh, even better, no downside, etc, etc. So that's good, but that requires 100 and that's far, far away. This here would be interesting in terms of not gathering as much. But as far as pure poison goes, this is already good. And at 50, we are at a, a pretty solid base for poison. I mean, we do have kick as poison already. Look at that here, for instance. Uh, drains target health four points uh, for a long period of time, if not blocked. Also... Uh, drains target health by 15 points if not blocked immediately and then paralyzed chance for five seconds so that's the best that i can brew at the moment we'll we'll see what we would do i think 50 alchemy makes sense and afterwards 50 one hand uh, then a little bit dual wielding and we'll uh, play it by ear from uh, there the the build so far already works out super well I mean, look at the poison resistance on the left-hand side, 225. We're co almost completely immune to poison. Uh, and we do have a respectable armor as well. Uh, with the shield in hand, 450. That's okay. Uh, we would be able to at least tank a single blow. But what really shines is with uh, the actual poison. If I could get the second weapon and apply uh, a lot of poison... Uh, rapidly after one another that would be awesome we're going to do the mission now and then maybe a forsworn camp because i want to test how well we're doing uh, with all of our poison resist against them all right so we are in marketh and found muri dark brotherhead has come oh oh i my goodness you're really here the Black Sacrament. It actually worked? Of course. Obviously, now tell me what you need. What I need? What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. I need details. Get to the point. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. It'll be done. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But, well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. I'm listening. If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. Tell me the full story. Why do you want Elaine dead? I went to Windhelm to see the Shattershields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning... Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. I met Elaine in the tavern while I was drinking my sadness away. He was handsome and charming. He said I was the beautiful lily of his dreams. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Elaine used me. He ruined my name, destroyed my friendship with the Shatter Shields. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? He heard about Frigga's murder. He wanted to befriend the family in their grief and rob them blind. Elaine used me to get close to my friends. And now they all think I'm some kind of monster. Elaine Dufont took my life and now I'm taking his. Or anything else? I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine too lost my nerve. I even brewed a special poison, lotus extract. Maybe you could use it? Just coat your weapon with it. Mm -hmm. Then you get the idea. And it'll seen why must she die? You see, I was like a daughter to Tova. 
a sister to Nelsine and Frigga. But the family refuses to believe my innocence, no matter what I say. Couldn't they understand that I was used? That I was grieving for Frigga too? No, they treated me like garbage, threw me away. With Nilsine dead, maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? Maybe then she'll see that I was just as much a daughter as the others. And if not, may she drown in her own tears. Well, that's a pretty sad story and uh, convincingly ill and mentally deranged person. But Ron the Snake would not care. What he cares about is the job and the killing. So uh, the killing we should do. We got one Windhelm and uh, Long Deformed uh, right there. That's exactly where we're going to go next. And of course we are currently in Windhelm found our potential victim but we can't really sneak during the day because some pesky guards have nothing better to do than to just watch us can't they see we're busy can't they just get away Well, this is not going to work out. Let me find a better location. This here might be the right place. Of course not with a guard nearby. Got saved by the guard once again. Oops. She literally ran into that bolt. Really couldn't do much about that. You have committed crimes against Skyrim What say you in your defense? I was innocent. Question is, can we run away? Hmm. Well, let's take me to jail. I don't want to die. We're doing a little bit of a jail escape here. Stay away from that. Let's serve our time. Couldn't be that long. Typically you go in uh, into jail for life, but apparently here it's just a few nights. And it fits Ron. I mean, he looks uh, to me like the type of character who would serve some time in jail. Okay, and in good fashion after a long period of time. We got out of prison. Lotus extract, by the way, isn't really a great poison. Although, six points of damage for 30 seconds isn't bad either. But we'll take one of our poisons. Okay, next stop. I will take a look for uh, to find Alain Dufon. Let's uh, go there. And here we go. At the Dwarven Ruins. I took the time to also purchase a new crossbow. Just to upgrade our ranged weapon. Give it a bit more oomph. Including some better bolts. Yep, we're rocking the orcish bolts, that's fine. Now I this is a okay, well, we don't want to deal with archers at the same time whilst dealing with other stuff. Oh 
Oh no, not like that. Certainly not through falling damage. If this run ends, it runs fair and square. Ron poisons the guy. There we go. One down. The archers are definitely a problem. Okay, well. Let them come. I got plenty of healing potions. Go ahead, guys. Good. So that's one more down. Ancient Nord bow well made. That's fine. Two healing potions back. So we're slightly getting our resources back. Of course, the moment that I say that, we're being hit. Now he's out of ammunition. All right. Well, serves you well. It's a one shot with a bow. Could have done that beforehand, to be honest, but okay, it is what it is. We need enchanting in order to fill up uh, that dwarven weapon here again. But for now we need to deal with Elan Dubon's guards. Alright, he's just awaking, or she, we are taking that to our advantage. By the way, let's re-poison our sword. It's worked very well so far. Fortunately, walked into that. Unfortunately, walked into one power attack, but the rest was okay. That poor bastard died right away from the poison. Poison dot damage is getting ridiculous now. Okay. Now off we go. Alan is still waiting. There's a copy of Ethereum Wars, not far away from here, but I prefer that, uh, to not loot that. It's a great book, though, if you, if we had kind of a caster mage of sorts.
Yeah, the bones are uh, down there, so rather play it safe than sorry. We're going to load Elven Bolts now. That's double damage. Be immune against our poison. Victory is yours. I submit. Well, he's certainly not immune against our sword, that's for sure. And he has Aegis Bane. Nice weapon, I like it. We'll get our bolt back. Let's just double check real quick. We're heavily overloaded. Aegis Bane potentially needs to wait here. But we got 16 magic resist, right? Versus poison resist. Very similar, even more armor. A bit heavier though. Health and stamina. I mean, the magic resist is definitely uh, worthwhile thinking about. Stamina 30. And they are also have stamina 30. Unarmed is irrelevant. I like his magic resist torso. The rest we can leave behind. But I would want to keep that one. I have plenty of uh, them back at home. Now I want to keep that one. We can always, um, I can always collect a bit later and get uh, the remaining items. Just want to get to the chest here. We still have a person left over. Hello, who's there? Thank you for opening the gate. <laughs> the poison gets her down one hit and the poison does the rest. Unbelievable. Don't need that. My sex, I like it. Yeah, we don't want to go deeper into the runes. Um, poison is not a very good method of going up against uh, dwerger, uh, dwergers. I can tell you though that we still have a scroll of knock. Worth it. That's a nice bow. <laughs> it's a nice armor, but wrong character. Okay, so we truly got everything out of here. That we could currently uh, take or do. So Allah and his crew have given us more than enough loot. 
and I'll head uh, home. I will come back uh, later and sell all of the items. But I first of all need to unload. So let me do all of that and we see each other in the Dark Brotherhood. Is Elaine? Elaine Dufour now Thank lies you. dead. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this as payment and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. Morris Ring! Uh, 500 and an inside potion. What does the ring do? Nice, armor penetration 12%. I like that if we were about weapon damage, that potentially would be really, really helpful. Maybe against heavier armor targets that are immune to our poison. Who knows, we can still keep it. We need a better amulet, that's for sure, but uh, we can take care about that in the future. Off to the Dark Brotherhood. Okay, so I skipped quite a bit forward uh, we are at the dark brotherhood i did the whole listen in with uh, cicero uh, handed in the contract uh, we have emptied our carry, carry weight quite a bit so that we do have 45 carry weight uh, left over i placed most of it in the belongings here which is not a bad idea also stored almost 9,000 gold pieces here and we did a few uh, skill upgrades I forgot uh, to record that. Brought alchemy to 37. Uh, still wanting to get uh, that poison perk. We got a bit more than a whole level and invested into dexterity, which gives us the ability to pickpocket. But really what we're after is precise strikes. And then the good old akimbo attacks for more armor penetration. We are going after alchemy to upgrade one-handed weapons to for even faster swing speed so that'll be it and besides evasion with its few talents i think this here actually would be a nice option extra damage precise aim uh, for more damage eagle eye could be uh, an option i'm not sure if we're going that deep as to go for piercing shot but I can see this, specifically the crossbow uh, is uh, faster, uh, faster reload speed and damage with both for another 20%. To be not bad, all of this here is, all of this here is bow related, bow speed, reload speed with crossbows. That would actually be okay, rapid reload. But yeah, I mean, Overall, this is not a marksman character, but a slight dip into it wouldn't hurt. Main idea is one-handed. Uh, evasion certainly would be an idea. I could even see us going deeper into sneak to be more efficient in doing that. And really quick attacks with dexterity. Alchemy, once we hit 50, should be okay for now. There is more to explore afterwards. Clearly, the poisons would become better, but idea is 50 alchemy, then 50 one hand, then uh, we're going to 35 dexterity, and then maybe splash a little bit into sneak, a little bit into marksman, and we should at that point also be through the quest line anyways uh thanks for watching guys next time we're going to explore maybe a few ar um, armor upgrades uh, the fight against the vampire could uh, turn out to be quite level so i want to at least get silver bolts and so on and so forth so so let me do some preparation thank you for watching if you enjoy run the snake for don't forget to poison your mouse pointer and then click the like button uh, that'll tick down and eventually it will give a thumbs up. Just pointing out that's an option. Thank you and have a blessed Dark Brotherhoody afternoon. Bye bye.